So I want you to think about right now is not what you don't want, but where is it that you really want to go? All change starts with honesty. Remember, if you're running away from something painful, be honest about it. If you're running towards something pleasurable, be honest about it. Because if you don't know where to go, if you just think of like GPS, right? It, the only way to get to where you want to go is they need the starting point. So the starting point needs fuel. It's like the rocket when it goes to space, right? What do they say? 80% of the fuel is just to get it like off the ground and out through the atmosphere. Then it hardly uses any fuel. The rocket can go to Mars, right? But we need the fuel to get off. So to me, where are you? And thinking through that, if you can't write right now, visualize where am I in my life? Write this very second as I watch Dean and that all starts with honesty. Are you dying to get your new knowledge industry off the ground? Are you dying to get into real estate? Are you, are you dying to just fix your personal life, your health, your, your relationships? Where are you? Pick one. Now, you're here with me. I'm guessing probably your finances, whether you want to make money for your family or make an impact on the world, doesn't matter. But if you're going to stick with that, where are you with your career? Where are you with your finances? Where are you with your business? Where are you with your income? and just take a minute and write it down and be completely honest and transparent. If I look at where I was a year ago, two years ago, five years ago, when I do this exercise every quarter, it's never the same. Never the same. Where I'm at is I want to start, I want my business to continue to grow. I'm at a place of legacy and impact. So I'm just sharing while you guys are writing down. I'm really working hard to figure out how I can make an impact in the world without having to travel as much as I do now. I, I, I'm with my current children half the time. When I'm with them, when they're with me, I don't want to be out of the state. I don't want to be out of the country. I work really hard. But now having a third child in a new marriage with new businesses, I'm really working hard on how I can make an impact like this virtually rather than jumping on a plane and flying around the world, right? That's where I'm at. I want to continue to be in really great shape with my health. I want to be in great shape. I, where I'm at in my love life, I have an amazing relationship and I don't want to screw it up. I made mistakes in the past terribly. I know where I'm at. I want to continue to work. I know like where I'm at is in a great relationship. I'm not doing anything to mess that up. I'm going to continue to work at where I'm at. My businesses, my businesses are doing fantastic, but I also know that winter is coming. The economy is going to shift. The markets are going to go down. People's spending habits are going to change. The knowledge industry, the real estate industry, those industries can thrive during that time. So I know where I'm at and I know what the pain of a down market's like because I've been through two of them. So I'm just giving you lots of examples of where I'm at. I know my starting point. Where are you at? Okay, so if you know where you are, now we get to start. Now the next important question, and again, if you just did this recently, do it again with me. Let's do it together here. Where is it that you want to go? Right, where do you want to go? So you know your starting point. Uh, I'm, I'm dying to start my new knowledge industry. I want to do masterminds. I want to, I want to take my business to a million year. I want to take my business to 10 million year. Um, where am I at? My health isn't the best. My relationship isn't the best. My career isn't the best. It's okay if it's painful, write it down. But now we're going to project on where we want to go. You see, as a reminder, um, as a reminder, most of us know where we don't want to go. Most of us know where we don't want to go for years. I did an event in Las Vegas once a month for five years. 500 people in the room every month, amazing people. Some of you may even have been at one of those events. And every month, I'd bring someone up on stage and I'd say, okay, where do you not, what don't you want out of life? And I'd have a whiteboard. And just like the one behind me here, and I'll, I might go on it here in a minute. But I, I'd sit next to the whiteboard and I'd say, okay, wh what don't you want in life? Oh, my. And people would ramble it off, ramble it off like, like it was rehearsed. Like I don't want my wife to, you know, bug me anymore about me wanting to be an entrepreneur. I don't want my boss to treat me the way they do. I don't want to worry about the bills. I don't want to stress about my retirement. I don't want my husband to question me. I want him to be on my team. It would be like people would, and I would write as fast as I could. And I, if you ever saw me on stage, I'm terrible at writing. My my spelling's terrible. It's so sloppy. So I'd write as fast as I can. And people would just, all the things they didn't want out of life. And then I'd stop them abruptly and I'd say, what do you want out of life? Where do you want to go? Nine out of ten times, most people would say, wow, that's a really good question. Or let me think about that. Or I'm not sure. 
So think about that. It's like if we were in a car, we know all the roads that will get us lost. Right? Think about that. Think if you had GPS and the GPS came on and it just gave you all the roads that will get you lost. But it doesn't give you the road where you want to go. The GPS wouldn't work. So most of us, this, I think it's subconscious, are designed to figure out what we don't want. And unfortunately, if we don't do this exercise on a regular basis, that subconscious sucks us in and we spend all the time focusing on the things we don't like or don't want and that's exactly what we end up getting. We end up getting more of what we don't want because we're focused on it. Now, you've heard that. You know that. But I'm going to beg you while we're here together doing this exercise, really think through it. Really spend the time to realize that anything that we say we don't want and we focus on gets bigger in our lives. Did you ever have an issue in your relationship and something's bugging you? Somebody did something to upset you or insult you and you don't say anything about it. You keep it inside and you think about it and you ponder on it and it wakes you up in the middle of the night and you think about it over and over and it just gets bigger and bigger. The incident was this big, but a week later, two weeks later, it's this big only because we're focusing on it. It's growing like a snowball going down the hill, getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And the crazy part, it would change if you just shifted your focus on where do you want the relationship to go? How do you want to fix it? What's the solution? So I want you to think about right now is not what you don't want, but where is it that you really want to go? And I love using the analogy of instead of looking forward, I go back and look at my where are you, where you want to go from previous years. I predicted this year last year. Swear on my life. I predicted this year last year. And I want you to do that. I want you to live this experience. So it's a year from now, year and a quarter, you know, 12 and 4, 16 months from now. And we are all in a room and we're celebrating your best year, the best year of your entire life. What does that look like for you? How can you predict your future? Because I believe in today's world, we are so damn busy. We are like, and I, I, again, for those of you that, that know me, you know I love to say this, but it's true. We're like the Tasmanian devil from the Roadrunner spinning so fast with our cell phones two inches away from us with so much information on it. We are just nonstop. We are spinning so fast we have a dust cloud around us. So then we go to somebody says, you got to set goals to be successful. And we go to set goals, you're like, I can't even see two feet parameter around me because there's so much crap. Like we get to the end of the day and we're like, we lay our head on the pillow and go, thank God I made it through another day. Where is, in so many cases, we don't find the time for our goal or we get in a hypnotic rhythm of our life and we're slowly inching ahead or so we think or we're working on busy work, not stuff that actually moves the needle in your life. And we just keep going and going compared to, we take that dust cloud and we extract ourselves out of it and we move a year from now when we're all celebrating because it was the best year of your life. If we extract that and go a year and look backwards, this is the thing that's changed my life. That one thing, maybe this is your one thing today, the thing to take one thing, throw the rest away. Instead of looking forward to where you want to go, what if it's a year from now and we're looking backwards and go, wow. I launched the mastermind. What's up, what's up? Hey, don't forget to look at the action steps we've posted below. They are the perfect way to take your success, abundance in this crazy world to a whole nother level.